Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Just yesterday, at a shopping mall near Indianapolis, Indiana, called Greenwood Park Mall, around 6 p.m., some deranged maniac went in there with a rifle, and they are claiming many magazines and decided just to start shooting at people. Law enforcement said immediately, almost immediately, there was a armed citizen, 22-year-old man, drew his pistol and fired and killed the psychotic gunman. This is what we call a hero. Law enforcement is calling that individual a hero. They say he was legally armed and he took care of the, the, the murder prior to any further casualties. Now, at this point, there are three people dead and two injured. And they're saying it would have been so much worse. They always say that. They say it would have been so much worse if it wasn't for this person who responded. He was legally carrying. They always say, you know, he was legally carrying. Well, if somebody's going to start shooting everybody, I don't care if they're legally carrying, illegally carrying. If they if they take care of the situation, save lives, to me, it makes no difference. But I get it. I, I completely get it. Now, they're calling that person a hero. Law enforcement's calling that person a hero. They weren't there to respond immediately, although calls were happening one after another. Call 911 saying there's chaos at the Greenwood Park Mall. Let's get this taken care of. Check out what this officer said. The real hero of the day is... The, the citizen that was lawfully carrying a firearm in that food court and was able to stop the shooter uh, almost as soon as he began. When I was researching this story, at this point, there is not a motive for why the, the killer did what he did. Most likely he was bullied at school or he got turned down for a prom date or somebody hurt his feelings. You know, this has been going on for years. And, and, and I've been bullied at school when I was younger. I know many other kids were. At no point did anybody consider going in and hurting other people. You learn to deal with that issue, respond, and then grow from it and learn and learn how to respond in the future. These are things that create, create growth, create maturity. These Young people going in and killing people is, is a disgrace. And what's also a disgrace is when I was researching this, I saw that some of the, the articles, they varied quite a bit. Many were calling the armed citizen a hero. Other people were saying, you know, more guns makes a more dangerous situation. CNN was saying, well, most of the time when this happens, it's a, a security guard or an off-duty police officer. You know, it's really not safe for an armed citizen. Meanwhile, this guy saved countless lives. It's unbelievable. Soon we'll see the politicians dancing in the blood before it's even dry, saying, you know, we need stricter gun control. If they got everything they wanted, then this 22-year-old man who took care of the shooter would not have done what he did and saved countless lives. So that's what's going on. It's unbelievable. The, the details are sketchy. I was going to talk about this last night. I decided to wait to see if any more details came out. And, you know, that's, that's what it came down to. Somebody decided to cause a bunch of damage, take a bunch of lives. Another person decided to end it by shooting and killing that murderer. And it was a great move. It's something that I think a lot of people in my position and yours, we, we think about, we, we train for. If we're ever in that situation, you know, we are there to protect lives. And we are there to respond if somebody decides to take lives. And, and that's what we see. If the government got what they wanted, and they keep saying this, that would have never happened. And you would restrict others from having guns, but not the legally armed people. So a good guy with a gun prevails once again. It's a heroic situation. It's, it's actually a tragedy that turned into a heroic situation. It's really a shame that people got killed for shopping in a mall. It's, it's, it's horrible and nobody likes this, but they're going to chalk it up as uh, another cash mass shooting with many casualties and everything, but they never or very seldom report how it ended. And many times it ends with a legally armed citizen who took care of business. And that's what happened. That person is a hero. I'd like to uh, get to meet him and talk about what was going through his mind when all this went down. The way I, the way I see it, not much. He, he saw the situation, decided to end it. And it took courage. It took training. It took a firearm because very seldom will these situations end until the second firearm appears. The second firearm appeared from a law-abiding citizen, and it killed, he killed, 
that shooter. And that is a good thing. That should be celebrated. A decent government would celebrate that. Instead, we're going to hear the opposite. I don't want to speculate too much, but I already know how this situation is going to go. Good job. Keep carrying. Be safe. And maybe you'll be in that situation to be called a hero once you stop one of these deranged maniacs. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.